The recent arrest of a 35-year-old Denver man, identified as Jesus Adrian Valdez Vidalis, led to the recovery of more than 10 pounds of fentanyl pills that were worth more than $900,000 by a Washington City police officer. The recent seizure underscores the massive increase in both the potency and the availability of fake fentanyl pills, and it's prompted the Drug Enforcement Agency to issue a public safety alert, as well as a video that is included in this report to raise awareness of the deadly pills that are mass-produced by criminal drug lords and are killing Americans at an alarming rate, the DEA says. The video is from the One Pill Can Kill campaign that was recently launched and provided courtesy of the DEA. My name is Joe Bazenko. I'm a senior research chemist with the Drug Enforcement Administration, also known as the DEA. So a counterfeit pill would be one that looks just like a, a legitimate pill, something you'd get from a pharmacist. I have never seen more fentanyl than I'm seeing now. It's manufactured in these dirty labs. There's no great way to measure how much goes into each tablet. When you're mixing a pill up, you have to mix all the ingredients together, and then you have to put them in the machine, and the machine will punch them out. The research suggests that Two milligrams of fentanyl can cause an overdose. One pill can very much lead to an overdose. The danger that we see coming from these counterfeit pills is you really don't know what's in them. Fentanyl is a threat that affects everyone. The fact of the matter is once you take that tablet, there's no going back. If it didn't come from that pharmacist, it could be counterfeit. It could end your life, impacting all your loved ones and your friends. This is Cody Blowers reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.